Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, King6. We're going to be playing some Set Jungle. Set Jungle plays a lot like a Zin Zhao or an Udyr, except he has objectively... Oh, he has a, quite a bit more CC, so we're going to get our ward down and reset. So Set has a lot of CC on his E and his R. Massive AoE damage and amazing suppression slash uh, displacement on his R. He also has really good clear speed with his passive and good sustain on his passive as well. The lower health you get, you uh, get more health regen. Not only that, but your first auto is just a normal auto. It's just a left punch and then your right auto comes down really fast. And then your it also does more damage. So your first auto, nothing. Your second auto is faster and does more damage. So you normally want to start Q on your first camp. If you're going to invade, you want your E. But for just starting on a camp, Q is better. So you can auto attack, Q reset, just like that. So just auto Q or you can auto auto Q. And the reason for that is your Q actually resets it back on the left punch, which is kind of annoying. Okay, we got our red buff. I'm gonna go ahead and invade Kha'Zix jungle. I could go do my blue and my gromp. I feel like I can beat Kha'Zix in a 1v1 anyway, so I'm just gonna rush straight down on his blue. And then I'm gonna... Ooh, did he actually start on his blue buff? Why is this missing? So once you have your E, you wanna auto E auto. Auto E, auto, and then Q reset. Because your E it holds it on your second auto. So after your first one, if you E, it'll still hold it on your right punch, which is really nice. Yeah, we're going to go top here. Kled's really low. We're going to flash on him and press E. And your Q's a big speed up, so we can press that as well. Boom. And if your E hits one or more targets, you'll clank them together. So Set does have level, like a level two cheese gank. He can do a lot like his in gank because of his E. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to Q speed up into him. East, East slow him. Gotta stay on top of him. I'm going to hold on to my W. W has more range than my auto attacks. There we go. If you hit him in the center of your W, it does true damage. And it does more damage. The more damage you take, you build up grit on set. You basically store it up. And then your W, you get to use that grit. So it does bonus damage, which is really nice. Clank these together through E. So here I'm building up grit. I'm about to use it on these guys. Just like that. The nice thing about set is you also don't have to get blue buff necessarily. Since you don't use mana. And you don't need team at either. Since uh, set... He has so much AOE with his E and his W. It's not really necessary. But yeah, normally on set, you'll do cheese ganks. He's not the fastest clearing jungler in the world and doing a full clear in his first clear. So it's actually a bit of a mistake. Let's W this. Clear this out. And now we're going to reset. The reason you go for hex flashes, you still get the Nimbus Cloak bonus. And the Nimbus Cloak is super useful. Every time you use your Summoner Spell, you'll get a big speed up. On your first back, you want to look to get Blue Smite and your normal boots. It's your first best first purchase. And we're going to get a Long Sword as well. And a Pink Ward. Oop, not a Long Sword. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, a Ruby Crystal. You want to get Blue Smite Cinder Hulk. It's your best item. Set plays better with HP. He has such high base damage anyways. You want to stay alive in the fight to stack up your Grit on your W. Max your Q first, W second, and E last. Trinimir should be fine top, even though he just did get solo for whatever reason after all the pressure we gave him. Auto attack E, auto attack Q. Optimal setup. Auto auto, kite it back. Auto auto Q. And you can also solo dragons on set because you have really high auto damage. And you can also use your W shield to block some of its damage as well so we'll go down there right now Ooh, that's taken that sucks we could go in the bush and hex flash out i don't think the enemies are going to play up though auto attack e auto attack q once again I'm gonna w the camp try to hit it in the center for the true damage got that set just died i mean uh Kled just died so we'll probably path up there and try to kill him again. 
We can also hex flash out and try to bing Ari. Once again, two or more targets, it will will uh, stun them. If it's just one target, it pulls them to you and slows them. Obviously, I missed it there. Still really useful even if you don't get one or more, but it's best if you get two or more. That way you get the stun factor. You can stun the whole enemy team if you land it. Really, really strong. This is actually Warden. All right, Red's gonna be up soon, so I'll just stick around, put another point in my queue. Wait for Kled to show up here. I'm gonna Hex Flash out of the bush. Need them to pull up a bit though. Gonna blue smite him, pull him back. Hit him with that W. And I'm still tanking turret. Okay, we're gonna back out now. You wanna try to save your W for last, guys. It's on a long cooldown. It has more range than all your other abilities by quite a bit. So think of it kind of like your uh, like a gin ult almost. You don't gin ult at point blank range. You save it to where you can't reach them anymore. I'm gonna bust these down and then I'm gonna go into my red buff. I'll hit a potion here. I need my E to clear this camp effectively. There we go, slap them all together. And now I'll get my red buff, hit another potion. So for your runes guys, you can go for Conqueror. That can be good if you're up against a Warwick or an Udi or something that's super fighty early. But if you're gonna be looking for ganks, it's a lot better to go phase rush. All right, I'll go take my Raptors real quick. We'll back and get our Cinder Hulk after that. You normally don't want to do Raptors or Golems until you're level 3, that way you can have your W and your E. In the early game you want to focus on single target monster camps like Red and Blue Buff and Gromp to get level 3. And uh, once again you can cheese gank at level 2 like I did, or you could just gank at level 3. Either one is completely okay, it just depends on what you think will work out. Since Kled is super aggro early, I figured I could just Red Buff gank into him. And I keep... The nice thing about your E as well is you cancel people's dashes with it. You can knock them right out of their dash. So if Kled's dashing, whether he's on his horse or he's, if he's in little form, just shotgunning away, I can use my E, pull him out of it and pull him to me. And assuming I have a minion or another champion, two targets or more total, it'll stun them as well. Otherwise, it's just a pull and a slow. Mm, I can come gank this with my R. Ooh, that's not good. They got absolutely wrecked. Gonna alter. Use my Q to stay on top of her for the speed up. Hold on to my W. I might have to use my Q again here. Get ult by the Lulu. They just they got away though. The Kha'Zix flash, that sucks. Really, I really wanted to get on that vein before she killed my Lulu. Alright, a little out of position here. I'm gonna run up. Hex flash into her for the speed up off of the Nimbus Cloak. Gonna smack her against the minions. There we go. I could have killed her there with my W at that point or hit her with blue smite. Since she didn't flash, I didn't need to. She was still in my auto range. If they're still in your auto range, keep mashing them with your autos and your Q autos. Go ahead and start on the dragon now. Kha'Zix is mid, so I'm not really worried about him. Looks like he's pathing up towards blue buff as well. See, I used my shield on my W to block some of the dragon damage. This is why Set's so good at taking dragons. He crushes it with his all of his abilities do lots of damage to it, especially his Q autos. Mm, this must be warded. I can just wait nearby. I'll do my wolves in the blue gromp here, or I can just go over the wall. Yeah, I'll just go over the wall here. Get my blue smite down on him. I'm gonna Q speed up into him. I'm gonna Oh, I missed my W! Fuck. I mean, I missed my E. If I would have pulled the vein there, I think we would have had her. That sucks. Hold up. I kind of want Lulu to break that. I'm just going to run away. It's kind of awkward. Still have my W, but I'm pretty low on health. I'm going to go ahead and just get my blue buff. Holding on to my E here. I want to get both of these. I'm 
can line them up with your AoE on your E and your W. I wouldn't recommend taking Blue and Gromp at the same time early in your first clear unless you plan on backing after because it'll lose a lot of health. But after your first clear, you can do it pretty comfortably without losing too much HP. And they're sticking around. I'll hex flash over the wall and try to ult him. Your ult's a massive tool. It's like an Alistar headbutt. Or a, it's like an Alistar headbutt and a Vi ult put together. Hex flash over the wall. Get the movement speed bonus. She's fast as fuck, dude. It's so ridiculous. I'm going to go ahead and just reset, get my tier 2 boots and build into Dead Man's Plate. After your jungle item and tier 2 boots, you really want Dead Man's. And then you want to build in something like Black Cleaver or Gargoyle Stone Plate. Mm, they're mostly AD. I'm just going to go ahead and get the Tabbies. And then I'll go for Gargoyle. Ari has a lot of true damage anyways. And they have triple AD on their team with the Vayne Cost and uh, Kled. Trin's dead. Rip. We did get Dragon. Cause low. I can gank mid. I'll go around this. You have the option between moat. You have the options between uh, Tabby's Mercs or Boots of Swiftness on set. In this particular game, since they're AD heavy. I'm gonna hex flash out. Movement speed. Yeah, I think she's just gonna get away though. Yeah, they're veins here. Gonna ultra right into the vein. Ooh, bang them all together. Hit them with the W. <laughs> Blue smite the Yumi. She's dead. Very nice. Your ultimate on set is massive AoE damage. You basically WWE Vi Alistar headbutt ult them. And it does massive splash damage. So I dumped the R right on top of the vein and uh, Yumi there. That's awkward. Can hex flash out if I really want to. Looks like he's backing off. I'm gonna go ahead and leave. I don't want to get caught in their jungle. I'll play around the next dragon spawn. And I also clank them together with my E, just like this. And hit him with a big fat W. Every part of your W hurts them, it's just the middle part that does true damage. So ideally, you hit him with the middle, but it's fine if you just. <laughs> Try to maximize the placement by just spreading it. Alright, let's get red buff. Remember, your Q is an auto attack resetter, so you can always auto, then uh, Q reset. Or you can auto, auto, then Q reset. Either way is fine. It's a little more, op in an optimal situation, you're going to auto, E, auto. Then Q. That way you get two right punches in. Because your right punch is where the damage is at. I think. Ooh, we got him. So we just flash E to auto it him down. You can also Q to speed up into him. I could have Q'd a little bit sooner there to get a movement speed bonus. As long as you're moving towards an enemy champ when you Q, you get 30% movement speed for a second and a half. It's pretty good. Hmm. Dragon's about to be up. I need to get over there. Auto attack, auto Q. I mean, auto attack, E, auto Q. Sounds funny to say. Auto E, auto Q. That way you get to use two auto attack resetters and you get double right punch, which is where the damage is at. I'm going to repeat that a lot because it's really important. Going to R him to break through the charm. Going to E her back to me. Oh, I fucking didn't quite get her there. That was so close, though. If I would have hit her in the middle with my W, she would have been dead. So as you see, right as she went to charm me, I pressed R. Your R will make you immune to all CC, just like a Vital. You will still soak the full damage, but you'll get out of the CC, which is what you really want. Oh, wow. Kled's really going for this. Max your W second. Boom! Hit with the big W there. Not bad. Alright. 
We can go back at all. Uh, we can go get Dragon now. Realistically, their top laner's dead. I hex flash over the wall. I figured he might pull the bush trick, which flashing hex flashing over the wall would still be good if he ran. Either way, it was a good move because I'd get the bonus movement speed. Because if I stood here, he'd have to leave the bush to hit me, and if he ran, I would still get him anyways. Auto attack E. Auto attack Q. Dragon kind of messed up since it pushed me away. There we go. Ooh, what is this guy doing? I actually pulled him there with my E, but we didn't quite kill him in time. I used my W a little early. If I would have held on to my W, I could have gotten more grit and then used it when I was had barely any health left. That way I would have had a bigger shield and I, I don't want to say I would have lived, but I would have had a much better chance of living. I got my dead man's plate now, so I'll be really fast getting around the map. It's also very important for setting up your ultimate combos. Without the dead man's plate, it's very hard to run people down. Righteous Glory isn't quite worth it because there's a lot of wasted stats on it with the mana. It's not a bad item, but the Righteous Glory, obviously, the mana goes to waste. So you usually go dead man's plate, and at this point, with this setup, you'd either go for Black Cleaver, or better yet, you could go for uh, Gargoyle Stone Plate. Really cost efficient item, helps you stay in the fight, build up lots of grit, and then rip a fat W on the enemies. Pull this to the ground. Nah, it wasn't for you, Kaisa. <laughs> Goofball. Just trying to take these more efficiently. I'm gonna push towards that Herald. Most of the time, in the mid game, you won't be using your W on the camp anymore because it's such a long cooldown. And it usually doesn't speed it up that fast. You'll mainly just be using your Q's and your E's. You only use your W if you're about to back. Or if you know you're not about to fight anybody. So like there I can use it. I don't feel like I'm about to fight anyone. But even then as I push out over here I won't have my W up. Trin's getting wrecked. Just needs to dash away. I'm gonna blue smite this guy. Ult him. Pull them together. Q. I have my W up. I'm going to Q towards him for the speed up. Auto him. Wow, this guy's fast. I'm going to pull him out of his dash with my E there. Uh, he actually got it. This guy's really fucking strong. I don't think I can fight him anymore. <laughs> yeah, he actually beat me. He got back on his horse so fast, he has almost no items. All he has is tabbies, Tiamat, and Phage, not even a full item. <laughs> I have the tabbies as well. Cinder plus Deadmans, but he just crushed me, bro. Just got back on his horse. I knocked him off. He got back so fast that I guess we just don't win that matchup there. Not with the tanky set, set up like we have. I should have just left, let him be in hindsight. Uh, our team has quite a bit of magic damage. I don't think I need to go for a Black Cleaver. I'll just go ahead and build straight for a Gargoyle Stone Play. Dragon up in minute 50. I'll run my red buff straight into Herald here. And your ultimate does more damage based on if the enemy, enemy has more HP that you ult, it will do more damage to the people around them. It's basically like a big bomb going off when you land. So if I were to ult a Zac, for example, into his team, I'd crush him super hard. And you can also ult people out of the air. Like if someone's jumping at you, like Kha'Zix or Zac, you can cancel their jump or whatever with your ulti. And they can't CC you either. So like I said, if you ult as they're CCing you, you can get out of the CC, but you'll still soak the damage. So you need to get that timing down. I, for example, I can get out of the, the Yumi ulti snare. I can get out of the Ari charm. I can get out of the... Oh, that sucks. It disappeared right as I was finishing it off. Very nice from the Trindamir. He's a little deep, though. They haven't take... Ooh, they did take their blue buff. Pull this over. I think Vlad's dead. I can't save him. He's too low. Ooh, he flashed. 
I'm actually get out of there. Auto attack E, auto attack Q. There we go. I have our ulti up. In a team fight here, probably ulti the Kled on top of their team, or maybe if we really need to, we can go for the vein. As long as there's someone behind me. Remember, your ulti pushes them away like an Alstar headbutt and a Vi ult. So you want to make sure you're not pushing away someone really important away from your team. Unless you can one-shot them. They're going for this dragon. Since we're, already, we're already up two drags. Let's go get him. Oh, shoot. Blue Smiter, let's pull it back. I have my phase rush, so I got away really fast, but my team's not really in here yet. I will ult the vein. Gonna Q towards her. Gonna ear back. Gonna W. Couldn't quite kill her because she still had ult. Gonna Q into this guy. Speed up. Slowed him down with my dead man's plate there. Gonna pull him back. Hit him with a W. Very nice. Really good chase down. Second chase down really hard with his Q speed up. It's on such a low cooldown. Especially with the dead man staying on top of them. Hitting them with the dead man slow. They're in big trouble if they're just trying to run away from me like that. Let's pull him back to our Gromp here. Can take him faster if I do map once. I have Cinder Holt. And a lot of AoE. Got those. I'm gonna go ahead and get this now. Pull them together. Boom. And now we're very close. Okay, we can get our gargle. We're gonna go ahead and reset. Resetting's gonna be really strong here. Gargoyle's gonna turn us into a beast. We're gonna keep ulting the vein since she does max health damage. She'll be a really good target to ult. I'm gonna get some pink words. Vayne's the only one who can kill me because she does max health damage, true damage, on her silver bolts. So as long as we kill her, I'll be so tanky with my setup that I can just keep CCing the enemy, slowing them down, doing lots of damage. A lot of the times they'll be ulting the enemy tank into their team to burst them down with your ulti, but they don't really have a strong tank. Alright, we got the Ari ult. Ooh, this guy's way out of position. Ooh, we don't really have our team with us. Pull him back. Hit him with a W. Boom, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. You see how long I held on to my W? I had my Gargoyle Stone Plate keep me alive. alive so I was taking for the Kaisa. And even though I was still... If you're on your Gargoyle, you do 60% less damage. Which is a lot for 4 seconds. So you're super tanky, but you're doing way less damage. But here's the thing. If you hit him in the middle of your W, that's true damage. So you're still doing full true damage if you land this thing. So you're tanking like crazy. You get an insane amount of grit. And then you drop a fat load right on their head. Ulting the Arya was a bit of a mistake, though. I should have held on to my ult. I got excited when I saw her. You just get Hex Flash over the wall, use the speed up. Let's get out of there. I think they're blue buffs up. Oh wow, it's down. Auto attack E. Oh, I should have autoed again before I queued. That was a mistake. I autoed E, then just queued immediately instead of auto E, auto Q. Feels bad, man. Okay, uh, we're gonna reset and build into what would be a good item. Spirit Vistage wouldn't be bad. Death Dance wouldn't be bad. I'm going to go for the phase for the speed up. My auto attacks and my Q speed up are going to be really nice. Do even more damage. Sets of 80 scalings aren't that bad. Pretty decent. We're going to we're gonna pill and play around our Kaisa and Vladimir. Play around the highest damage people on your team so you can CC and, and lock people down for them. Vlad's just way overplaying his hand. I can't do anything there, unfortunately. 
That was unfortunate. I don't know if this is worded. I don't have sweeper. I think this is worded. I'm gonna eat that ult for him. I'm gonna gargoyle. Yeah, that was not good for us. I can't, I can't only, I can only peel so hard. If I eat the Kled ult and then he just dashes onto her, that's about it. Cause then if I ult him, I'm gonna be pushing him towards her. Let's just go for the dragon. We need the Vlad to stop doing what he's doing and just. Lulu and Vlad keep getting themselves killed. It's whatever. We'll get this dragon. Got it. I have my ulti. There's just too many people to use it before. I would probably kill myself. Someone's, someone's probably going to walk in here. Trinomir's going up way too far, though. Their whole team's going to be there. Yep. My grandma saw that one coming. They're, she's so close to their base and they're all missing. They're obviously going to be there. I'm going to ult her though. I should have Q sped up into that. Yeah, it's not great. I kind of messed up there when we were chasing the vein. I needed to Q speed up into R because she was just too far away. Looks like my team's going to turn it around though. Damn, that vein's a big issue. She's a really big issue. Wow, that's some damage. He nearly got the clad. That would have been really, really good. Just got a pill for the Kai'Sa. We might even get a Knight's Vow here instead. Kai'Sa's not getting very much pill on our team. Nervain's doing so much damage to me. So much damage. At least we got the dragon, though. We're set up to get a ocean soul here pretty soon. Just farm it up. Still have more CS than Kha'Zix. Or higher level as well. Just got to be patient in a team fight to get off a good ult. And uh, peel for Kai'Sa. Pretty decent clears, considering we don't have team at. Clears are really good for just Qs and Es. Playing around this dragon spawn is probably our best move. Set, your late game isn't amazing. Your late games are more situational since they don't have a hyper tank like an Ali, Zach, Ramus. They don't have anyone with lots of HP for me to ult and crush their whole team with. It's kind of tougher in team fights. I just have to play around my carries and try to stay alive using my gargoyle properly and my W properly. Yumi is dead right now. She's spawned in. Oh, nice. Picked him off really fast. It's a Baron right there. If they show up, I have my R. Yeah, they're coming. I'm going to hold on to my Q here so I can move towards them. Oh, there they are. Gonna E. I haven't really taken that much damage yet to use my W, but there it is. Need Trinomir to turn around and hit this guy. Gonna E him back towards us. Can we get him? Nice. Alright, alright. Not bad. We got it done. We're gonna get double inhib here. That's pretty solid. We didn't keep Kaisa alive for very long. We can pull off, get their red buff, whatever we need to do. Kha'Zix is still chasing. Wish I had an ulti.
I canceled my auto there, so I didn't take it. He'll probably do more with that red buff than I will. Yeah, we can get our black cleaver here. We can't even afford Knight's Vow, so we'll just go cleaver. Might be a little bit better. They're not focusing me like, at all. So there's that. We get another pink ward, and now we can go for a locket. Locket and gargoyle synergize really well when you hit your gargoyle and get all that extra HP, especially if there's three or more enemies. You get 100% bonus HP. And then if you lock it, the locket does way more shielding. So right now, we'll go for locket for our final item. We do lots of damage as is. Super tanky with our gargoyle and our W. Nice, two pink ones in that bush. <laughs> Man. Jesus, dude. I'm gonna, might flank on this. Oh, ho, ho. we got his spell shield. Gonna ult. Oh, ho, ho. Got him. Gonna pull her back. Very good. Could probably end off that, honestly. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, Ari's just gonna kite it out. I'll go for the dragon. Okay, that's the end. That's game. We could get Dragon Soul there, but we killed their whole team. That's GG. All right, guys. That's how you play some set jungle. You can go Conquer or Phase Rush. Go Phase Rush if you feel like you won't have issues with enemy jungler anyways. It also gives you much better ganks. These are the runes. Go to the start of the video for the exact level order. Q first, E second, W third, Max Q first, uh, W second, E last, and keep pushing up whenever you can. My name is King Six. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.